Hello. In this video, we are going to focus on identifying numbers that are one more or one less than any given number. Let's begin. How many passengers are on the bus? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five passengers on the bus. If one more passenger gets on the bus, how many passengers will be on the bus then? We already know there are five passengers, so we just need to work out what one more than five will be. Did you work it out? There will be six passengers on the bus. To find out what one more than five is, we could write the sum 5 add 1 equals 6. So what if one more passenger gets on the bus now? Show with your fingers how many passengers will be on the bus then. We had six passengers on the bus and we want to find out what one more than six is which we can write as a sum like this. Six add one equals seven. There will be seven passengers on the bus. Did you work out it was seven passengers? Count the number of passengers just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Next stop and one passenger decides to get off the bus. How many passengers will that leave on the bus now? We want to find out what one less than seven is and we can write it like this. Seven take away one equals six. That means that there will be six passengers left on the bus. One less than seven is six. If one more passenger then decides to get on the bus, how many passengers will be on the bus then? We already know that there are six passengers on the bus. So we just need to work out what one more than six will be. Did you work it out? There will be seven passengers on the bus. To find out what one more than six is, we could write the sum six add one equals seven. So one passenger got off and one passenger got on the bus. So once again, we have seven passengers on the bus. We have seven passengers on the bus. So if one more passenger gets on the bus, how many passengers will be on the bus then? We just need to work out what one more than seven will be. Did you work it out? There will be eight passengers on the bus. One more than seven is eight. And we can write the sum seven add one equals eight to show that one more than seven is eight. Hold the bus though, one more passenger wants to get on. Show with your fingers how many will be on the bus now. We had eight passengers on the bus and we want to find out what one more than eight is, which we can write as a sum like this. Eight add one equals nine. There will be nine passengers on the bus. Did you work out it was nine passengers? Count the number of passengers on the bus just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
seven, eight, nine. We have nine passengers on the bus. One passenger decides to get off the bus. How many passengers will that leave on the bus? We want to find out what one less than nine is, and we can write it like this. Nine take away one equals eight. There will be eight passengers left on the bus. One less than nine is eight. If one more passenger gets off the bus, how many passengers will be left on the bus then? We have eight passengers left. So we just need to work out what one less than eight will be. Did you work it out? There will be seven passengers on the bus. To find out what one less than eight is, we could write the sum eight take away one equals seven. And if another passenger gets off the bus, we will have one less than seven passengers left. Or seven take away one. How many passengers will be on the bus then? Show the answer with your fingers. We will have six passengers on the bus. A money box! What a perfect place to put all of my pennies! Count with me as I put my pennies in the money box and hold up one finger for each penny as I count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five pennies in the money box. If I add one more penny, how much will there be in the money box then? And if I add one more penny, And again, if I want one more than seven, one more than eight, and one more than nine. So I now have ten pennies in the money box. Let's just count them to make sure. We worked out that we should now have 10 pennies in the money box. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant! There are ten pennies. But what is one less than ten? What is one less than nine? And what is one less than eight? We can also use a number track to show our calculations like this. We have five blocks. One more than five is six. One more than six is seven. And we can even find out what two more than a number is, like this. Two more than seven is nine. In the same way, we can find out what one less than any given number is. And here we're going to show our jumps backwards underneath the number track so we don't get them confused with our jumps forward. So one less than nine is eight. 
one less than eight is seven. And again, we can use our number track to also find out what two less than any given number is, like this. Two less than seven is five. So, in this way, if we want to find out what one more or one less than any given number is, we just need to count on or back from our starting number which is much quicker than counting out all of the blocks or any other counting objects we use. But anyway, that's it for this video. Keep counting and bye for now.